Our mission for the day was going to be a 10 kilometre trek over rough terrain, down a mountainside to a surf village, only accessible by dirt bike. The decline is the main problem, which would make the going slow and tough on the knees. Our next problem was time, because we needed to complete this after Lenny's midday nap, which ended up just went on for later than usual. He got some of his banana in my hair, so we were cleaning that out, and then we forgot the sunscreen, so we left later than we would have liked. On the motorbike, I uh, lost my wallet. I'm Elena, and this is Riley, and this is our home, La Vagabond. <laughs> We've been sailing around the world for the last six years now, and recently, it's like we're seeing everything for the first time through a new set of eyes. This is our little boy, Lenny. Click the subscribe button to join our voyage every Monday. Welcome back to the Azores. We're currently docked in the tiny marina in Vellage, a picturesque village on the mountainous island of Sao George. This morning, we rented a car and we set off to hike down a steep valley to a surfing community. It would be our longest hike to date with Lenny. Wish us luck. All right, we've arrived. There's just a light little spray of cloud casually. Lenny's run around circles again. Save your energy, Lenny. We got 10 yeah, kilometers. Yeah, conserve. <laughs> Got your trail mix, Come on, Lenny. <laughs> this way. This is not a good start. Wait, wait till he sees the bull. Lenny. I don't think we should be walking past the bull, hey. I really don't. <laughs> that bull's eyeballing me off. One minute into the walk, this is what we got. Oh, Riley's doing a wee. <laughs> Just looking at this descent made my knees ache. But we were about to be rewarded with the most breathtaking views, surrounded by the sights and the sounds of wildlife, and there was even a waterfall on the way. We'd been warned by pretty much everyone we'd met in town about the mud and the rolling rocks, but we were feeling pretty confident. Come on. This really is the Hawaii of Europe. I've never been to Hawaii, but I mean, I've seen lots of pictures and videos because everyone else seems to have been. I'd love to go. But um, this is what I imagine Hawaii to be like. I think we're going all right. Lenny's got a couple of sticks to the eyeball, but <laughs> generally speaking, he's okay. I have to keep warning him when there's a tree. I'm like, duck. Knock his hat off a couple of times. It's just got real foresty and we can hear water. There is a waterfall coming up, I'm pretty sure. He wants to throw rocks now. Come on. <laughs> He's clearing the path. <laughs> How considerate. This is cow dung central. <laughs> Be very careful. mint everywhere. A local laughed at me the other day because I picked up some mint leaves in their backyard and ate them and neither of them spoke English and they were just like, oh, so they thought it was so weird. 
but it's just mint but apparently they don't eat this kind of mint because the cows eat it but it tastes very very close to like good mint like exactly the same pretty much <laughs> We'd made it to the rocky shore of the Atlantic Sea, just before the sun began to set and a chilly sea breeze would blow in. This was only the halfway mark though. It looked like the next five kilometers was gonna be in the dark. This is all so beautiful. I'm like on the verge of tears. <laughs> Surfers in the water. It honestly feels like I'm dreaming, this whole place. I seriously could cry, I'm so happy. So, luckily we're able to hike one way and our friend John's gonna pick us up at the bottom and drive us back up to the top where we left our car because we would not make it back yeah. until tomorrow. <laughs> Here she is, the Lagoa da Faja de Santa Cristo. Only accessible by small dirt bikes or on foot. The people here stay in small shacks, powered by generators, and mostly surf or do yoga. Unfortunately, we had to keep moving, but we'd made a plan to come back and spend the day once we've had a little rest. That town was just beautiful. Picked up some real hippie vibes back there. Bit of, bit of surfing, bit of yoga. Oh, oh yes, let's get a lift. So what's happened, Riley? Okay, so we're all thinking here, what the hell is Lenny doing on the back of a quad with no helmet? We could have left this out and avoided like a tsunami of comments that are entirely unpleasant to read, but this is one of the realities of experiencing the world. It wasn't perfect, I would organize things differently next time, but when faced with the decision of motoring at just slightly faster than walking speed, with the guy that does the trip 10 times a day professionally on his quad or trekking well into the night up and down hills in the dark with Renton on my shoulders we thought that this was the best option you will of course let me know what you think in the comments you're gonna go on a motorbike Lenny remember all the boom booms? you haven't been on a motorbike yet boom. all right good luck thank you <laughs> <laughs> All right, me and you, buddy. <laughs> We're going to be walking in the dark <laughs> very soon. Oh, I'm glad that that bike rider came by because it would have been pretty exhausting for Riley and Lenny to come up this hill <laughs> on a very steep incline. So Lenny, that was the biggest day of your life. That was bigger than most of those uh, days on the North Atlantic. Fist pump. How you feel, mate? Fist pump. <laughs> Tie red? Yeah, no doubt. All right, let's get you home. You know where we're going, don't you, Andre? Uh, on the way home? Yeah, babe.
cut the blue one or the red one? Cut the brown one. Brown one? As if we weren't exhausted enough, we came home and the bilge pump was going off non-stop and making like a really annoying sound, annoyinger than usual. There was a tiny bit of water in there and then Riley mopped it all up, but um, it still kept going off, so maybe it's broken. Anyway, he just cut the cord because it's been going off for like, who knows how long, probably all day, but for a long time since we've been home. Anyway, <laughs> come, and, come and eat your pizza, darling. It wants to be pretty good pizza. It's gonna be good pizza. This is a proper pizza. <laughs> is it good? Jeez, Louise. Last night on the motorbike, I uh, lost my wallet. And so I'm walking up and down this trail now trying to find it. Just had lunch in the town that's behind me there. Uh, it's the only place that's there. And I got a phone call, which didn't work because there's no reception, and then a message from Elena and Andre saying um, that the wallet's been handed in at a police station, which is over there. So I got to walk back, which I was going to have to do, no dramas, then drive up around to the other side of the island, pick up the wallet. The people here have been super duper helpful the two guys that i have spoken to both after about 10 seconds they're like juan goes where do i know you from and then the other and the other guy goes do you sail and i was like yeah and, that, and then they were like oh come come past the house um like we'll, we'll try and help you find the wallet find your wallet for you they were super helpful so <clears throat> that was a bit weird to come across that uh, in such a remote place. But one little perk of what Elena and I do is people are kind of motivated to try and help you in times of need. Oh, so I just met a Raposo from the Policia and he convinced me to climb Pico Mountain. Even if Lenny can't do it, he's like, you just have to do it. He's climbed it 84 times. Thanks for returning my wallet, Raposo. Yeah, he, he was a really cool dude. Wallet back, no money. Oh well. Je me gratouille les corps en regardant passer les culs. Je la vis entrer au port accompagné de son Jules. Deux ou trois verres dans le pif, je parlais presque hollandais. Never. Never a boring walk. I heard about a track behind a church, to jump the fence, um, go up this hill, and. Um, my goodness. Yeah, I can see it. <laughs> Did you run up there? Uh, no, I actually walked. You are so very much alone. Elle me prépare le bras. Je me suis dit qu'on était mal sur le chemin de la marina. Comme une bonne surprise, je la vis à Mindelo. Elle était encore prise sur son tome Tao. Et quand on a mis votre point de vue, on se rend à Mindelo, il y a eu ce jour. Et avant un joyeux, votre mousse est là. Et que vers de fond de ta lampe, fin de la vie, ça. Oh my god, it doesn't all fit. That one is sitting on top of the other. <laughs> they don't fit. Just cook them, who cares? Yeah. I'll have a soggy bit of pizza. It won't be soggy, it'll just be washed. Next time, the marina is chock a block, and I've got to reverse this thing out of here. Join in on the fun. We're sailing over to Horta next. The sailors are. J'étais un peu vert de voir la vie en bleu. Ma vie que belle en abri, 